Your Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to participate in the International Telecommunications Union Potential Conference 2022. I thank the government and the people of Romania for the warm hospitality expended to all of us. On behalf of the government of Uganda and the people of Uganda, I bring warm greetings and congratulate the ITU family and its partners upon the realization of this very important forum, which will set policies that will greatly influence the direction of the global digital transformation agenda for the next four years. Distinguished delegates, for us to achieve sustainable digital transformation, we must be alert, not just the economic issues, such as how we fund it, or the social aspects that are associated with ensuring that everybody enjoys the benefits, but also the environmental impact and the cultural and societal challenges. As we all continue to strive to the achievement of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, we are cognizant of our joint commitment to the Connect 2030 Agenda for Global Telecommunication Stroke ICT Development that focuses on technological advances contributing to our acceleration of the achievement of the SDGs by 2030. This is to be done ensuring that technology serves humanity and the planet. The government of Uganda has designated ICTs as one of the four priority areas for the country's development aspirations. As such, a national digital transformation program has been established under the National Development Plan with a focus on the development of a conducive policy and regulatory environment, enhancing ICT infrastructure and connectivity, digital services, ICT skilling, and innovation. Complementary investments by government and the private sector have enabled the realization of fiber connectivity to the geographical borders with all our five neighboring countries and traversing all the administrative regions of the country. Mobile broadband coverage has grown from 79% in 2018 to 87 in 2022. The resultant uptake of broadband has spurred transformation of other key sectors within Uganda's economy, such as the public service, agriculture, financial services, trade, health, education, and citizen participation. Interventions that have been made have facilitated the establishment of ICT school laboratories in around 1,300 public schools across the country with internet connectivity being extended to these and ICT school clubs have been established. This includes provision of assistive technology to schools for children with special needs. A program on basic digital skills is also being implemented to foster utilization of ICTs by the entire populace. This includes specific programs for persons with disabilities and women as well as youth especially those in the informal sector and those that have dropped out of school. The government adopted the Inclusive Digital Economy Scorecard to track its progress against the state digital transformation priorities while identifying constraints to digital inclusion. Sensitive to the threat of ICT e-waste, Uganda has adopted an e-waste management policy and subsequently established an e-waste management center for collection and safe disposal of ICT-generated e-waste. Distinguished delegates, for us to realize sustainable digital transformation, we must address ourselves to the issue of building trust and confidence in ICTs. And this calls for greater collaboration and partnerships to address both the technological and human factors associated with this. As I conclude, it gives me great pleasure once again to reiterate Uganda's quest for re-election to the ITU Council for the 2022-26 cycle representing Region D. 
Uganda brings the ITU a rich experience in evidence-based ICT policy development, a culture of collaboration and consensus building, regional policy and market perspectives, and broad-based, inclusive, and participatory policy design ethos. I thank you very much, and I say this for God and my country. May God bless you.